All right, here's a question for the real experts. This is a 28 cubic inch engine, which comes at the 465 cc. It's rated as 14 and a half horsepower. The 13 horsepower engine is also 28 cubic inch, 465 cc. The 12 horsepower, which has a slightly smaller screen, and the shroud doesn't have a curve in it, is also 28 cubic inch, 465 cc. So, is this baloney about this being a 14.5 versus the 12? Is there really a difference? My firm belief was always no. They're playing a numbers game. Okay. The only way I could see there being a difference is by the setting of the RPM. So, say the 12 horse was set at 3,050 RPM. The 13 horse was set at 3,150. And the 14 and a half was set at 3,250 or 3,300. Would that be the only thing that made a difference? And if that's the difference, that was just an adjustment. No difference in the actual engine itself. Meaning, you could take a 12 horse, raise the RPM, and make it a 14 and a half. Because they're all 28 cubic inch. There's ones that go as high as 17. I think those ones do have, there is a difference. But these ones, like this one, 14 and a half. The 13, because they've made a, a Toro with a 13. They've had the 13 on tons of machines. And even the 12 horse. They're all 28 cubic inch, which is 465cc. Where's the difference in power, size, torque, anything, in any of that? They're all the same engine. They all take the same parts. The only difference between... This one and the 13 is it's an overhead valve, but the 12 and 13, they're both flatheads. Now, granted, the 13 does have a slightly larger screen than the 12, so maybe that's where that one's picking up a little more power. I can see that as a possibility. But there shouldn't be a difference overhead valve versus flathead as far as the 28 cubic inch goes. And what if it was a 14? It would still be a 28 cubic inch. The 15, pretty sure, 28 cubic inch. They're all the same. So, my belief is no, there's no difference at all. They were playing a numbers game back in the day. They got sued. They got caught for it. They stopped doing it. They don't even rate them in horsepower anymore as a result. Um, everything's in foot-pound torque. And um, CCs now. Looks like we're getting a little, a little rain shower. But um, the horsepower they pretty much did away with. Especially on the smaller stuff. You still see it on the bigger ones like this now. And then again, you've got the Intec that's. You've got one that's 500cc. And you've got one that's 540cc. I've seen that 540cc one rated anywhere from 19.5 to 21 horsepower, and it's the same engine. So again, where are they coming up with these numbers? So other than where they're setting the RPM, when they put this on a machine and rate it, I don't see there any actual difference in power. And like I said, all the parts are the same. So no, I don't think there's actually any difference other than, like I said, adjusting the speed of the engine. The 12 and the, whoever knows between the 12 and the 13, is there an actual difference? Because that one 
does have one physical difference. The screen is larger on the 13 than the 12. The shroud having a curve, that's just a design thing, I think, more than anything. But the 12, the screen is a little bit smaller. A little bit. But they're still both 28 cubic inch, 465 cc engines. They all were. There wasn't a difference until you went down the 11. The 11 horsepower is 25 cubic inch, 399 cc. That one's less powerful. It's a smaller motor. And that one's got decent power too, but it's a smaller motor. That's a difference. But all these, I don't see a difference. So I'm putting it out there and I'm also asking the question to experts on ratings for these things. Is there actually a difference? My belief over the last couple of years working on this stuff and learning about it is no. There isn't. It was a numbers game. So, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below on this discussion. While you're at it, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. But I just find that interesting. I've had a few of these that were 13 horsepower. There was no difference in power. They were flathead engines. But... They went anywhere from 12 to 17 horsepower. The 17, I don't know. I've only have I only have one of them and I haven't messed with it yet. But I've had 16s. They were the same. The 15s, they were the same. The only one that I've actually seen a physical difference was the 12 and the 13 flathead. Size of the flywheel screen. That's it. Alright, thanks.